Well, it's story time. You already know it's story time. So let's get into it. Baby reindeer. So when I saw the Netflix situation that they came out with that TV show, Baby Reindeer. So me, you know, a couple of my friends, we sat down and watched a couple of episodes of it. And every episode we all just, they all would just turn around and look at me and I'd be like, I don't want trouble, buddy. <laughs> and so we watched the second episode. They turn around, look at me. Because they know, you know, the situation I had went through. So let's hop in the, the time machine and go back a couple years. Um, about a couple years ago, I started doing this event called Hip Hop and R&B Bingo, right? And Hip Hop and R&B Bingo is pretty much like you come out, we play bingo, play a whole bunch of 90s R&B, hip hop music, real fun. My events be real packed out, right? So I got this rule, like, you know, it's family style seating. You like, you can't hold seats or reserve seats for anybody. Sit wherever there's an empty seat make new friends. You know, one of the things I have is like door buster, like scavenger hunt where you got to go around and take pictures and, you know, add up a score and you get like a prize or whatever. It's really just for people to get mingling and talking and having a good time. We at the event and it's, you know, it's going pretty well, but I noticed like it's people standing in the back cause they can't find a seat, but it was this one particular young lady who was sitting at a table with four seats and she was just taking the one and nobody would sit with her. I was like, Hey, you know, y'all can, you know, come over here and sit, you know, with old girl or whatnot. And people was just like, eh, you know, like it. And I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with the girl. Like she was a heavy set, pretty girl, had long, you know, curly hair. I didn't see anything wrong with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Had some big cassava melons. So I went over there and I sat down with her and I had the microphone and I was joking and I'm, you know, I'm singing and she starts singing and, you know, she, she seemed like she was having a good time, but she was real quiet, real timid. You know what I'm saying? That brings me to my delectable delight here. Now, this is a Where's Brims hat. You can go on their website or whatever. I will put the link in the description, but I'm not in their affiliate program. So, hey, unless they cut the check, I ain't doing all that. But this is actually one that they featured in their national campaign on social media and didn't pay your boy. So yeah, I'm definitely, you know, it is what it is. So y'all know how I got a That thing got a thing. You know what I'm saying? That thing got a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all know how I go, right? So back to the story. So I'm listening to her talk and I'm like, she is British. And I'm like, did you come all the way from the UK for this event? And she was like, yes. And I was like, no, you lie. You are absolutely lying. You did not get on a plane and fly from Britain to Ohio for an event. And she's like, no, I'm joking. I'm here abroad studying. And you know, she's speaking that, you know, Guy Ritchie language. So I'm like, you funny, you silly, you know what I'm saying? And we sort of chat just a little bit, you know, I'm, this is right in the middle of my event. So I get up, I start doing my hosting thing. Bartender brings me a drink. She's like the young lady over there, you know, sent you a drink. And I'm like, okay, cool. Thank you. You know, I, I cheers up like this. Now, when I do events at places, they give me like a tab or whatever, um, of drinks. I mean, you know, credits because, you know, I bring all the people there or whatnot. So at the end of the night, I went to go, you know, see what my tab was, you know, see if I went over it. Cause sometimes I do. She had paid it. She had paid it and she disappeared. So I'm like, that was, that was interesting. So fast forward like a couple days, I get a friend request from her. I accept it. Now I really, like I get so many friend requests on my personal profiles. It'd be too difficult. Like I probably right now have over like 1300 friend requests just sitting that I can't even, I couldn't even scroll through if I wanted to. I get like a ton of inboxes now. This is the best way. If you ever really want to contact me, 216-284-3444. Once again, that's 216. Text Hey Tom to 216-284-3444. Once again, text Hey Tom to 216-284-3444. That's the best way to stay up with you know, new story times, when I go live, when I'm going to do a meet and greet, all of that. But back to the story. A couple days go by, send me a friend request. 
friend request comes through. I approve the friend request and she sends me an inbox. She was just like, I was having a really bad night and I really haven't made many friends here since I came here. You know, I really appreciate, you know, treat you treat me really good. And I met a few people that night and we're going to go to brunch this weekend. Da, 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 da. I was like, you know, I'm glad you had a good time. Great. You know, da, da, da. about maybe a couple hours after that, my secretary at one of my businesses, she called me and she's like, hey, Tom, you have a edible arrangement here. And I was like, from who? And it just says from your new friend. And I'm like, new new friend what's happening here so i i didn't think i didn't put two and two together at the time that's not sort of the first time that something like that didn't happen so i kept it pushing and i was like hey man y'all can just go ahead and eat that you know i'm i was busy you know i there was no way i was gonna make it down there to get it the next day rode around and i got she called me again and she was like hey tom it's like uh 50 piece wing stop order here you know louisiana rub you know extra ranch you know, all, you know, all my, my order for, I mean, I don't eat 50 pieces every time. No. So I've never eaten 50 pieces. I usually get a 12 piece or a 10 piece. Do not judge me. We stop is one of the core foundations of America. Like order a 50 piece. I'm like who, I wonder who sent it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, who, who know my order? But then it's like, you know, I get to thinking about this stuff. Like if you watch any of my past live streams or watched any of my old podcasts, you would, I talk about all this stuff all the time. So I'm clueless at this point, maybe a couple of days go by. So this is right when I was starting to get on TikTok, but I really wasn't TikToking, you know what I'm saying? And I really wasn't doing Facebook consistently. So I noticed she had went on TikTok and liked everything I did, commented on everything I did, started sending me messages after every video she watched, like every video she watched, she would then send me like six or seven messages about the video. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Oh my gosh, you're so hilarious. Oh my gosh, you said this at this point and at 631, you said this and then again at 714, you said this and I was just like, I don't know what. Uh, I may need security, <laughs> but it escalates. Later on that night, it's probably like around 4 a.m. I was up for some reason, you know what I'm saying? And I was sitting at the computer working on something and I got a text and the text was like, do you think you could ever love me? And I look at it. I don't recognize the number. I don't respond. A couple of minutes go by. I get another text from another number. I will give you anything that you want from me, my body, anything, I'll give you anything. And I'm like, I know it's her, but I'm like, <sighs> I respond and I'm like, Hey, I think I know who this is. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, not escalate the situation, but at the same time, I'm trying to sway her away. So I'm like, Hey, you know, I'm currently dating somebody right now and everything is going good so far. I'm not really available to, you know, start anything new. And then she sends me like a shaking head emoji and she's like, give me five minutes. Now at the time I was sort of dating this girl, but it was nothing serious. It was just, you know, casual dates, you know, maybe some adult activities here and there, but, um, it wasn't nothing too serious. Right. Five minutes go by. I'm still there. I'm still sitting there working. Right. Then all of a sudden I get text, 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 text. Then another text says, check your email. So I look at the text and I open it up. It's a whole profile on the girl that I'm dating, her credit score, her social security number, her car, her ID, like her everything, like her electric bill. So I open up the email. It's like she done wrote a whole, she done put together a whole dossier on this girl that I'm dating. And she's like, she's not worth it. She's not worth it at all. She has a 472 credit score, Tom. She has a 472 credit score. I'm like, nigga, you done kicked the hornet's nest. For real, for real, this time. So I'm like, hey, man, this is too much. You you know what I'm saying? You're doing the most right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was never dating her for all of this stuff anyway. I ain't even know it. Didn't even care. You know what I'm saying? So... She goes silent. I go, by the time I, I go to bed. So this is probably like, you know, 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning at this point. Go downstairs. There's a huge box of potato chips sitting on my front porch. Now, listen, I understand that, you know, all of these things might sound disturbing for some, but 
Lay's are my favorite potato chip, plain Lay's. And yeah, there was a whole case of Lay's sitting on my front porch. So yeah, I, I took them in. I, I gave them a home. Sorry. So I come in, you know what I'm saying? I pulled a bag, you know, a big box of chips in. You know, I call my friend, I'm like, you know, I call my cousin at that time. I'm like, hey, um, you know, da 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 She's like, man, you better not eat them chips. You better not eat not one of them chips. Your chips probably got, they laced with something. You gonna wake up dead. I'm your country ass. <laughs> they're lips. They're laced. They're magically delicious. I can't just throw those away. Nothing was wrong with the chips. I had to try them. But, so she disappeared for like maybe two days. I call old girl. I'm like, hey, this is what happened. Be on the lookout for, you know, this person. Give her a description. I'm like, yo, because she's doing some wild and crazy things. And... You know, old girl, she like, I wish a bitch was, a, you know, a bitch pull up on me, a bitch gonna have a problem, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, uh, okay there, uh, Tyson. You know, I kind of feel, you know, bad about the whole situation because now she's in it and I got this whole full-fledged stalker. Now, I get a ton of inboxes. I, I mean, I covered that already and it's impossible for me to check them all. You know what I'm saying? All, all the platforms, it's like crazy. You know, I do have, you know, a couple people who go through the, the messages or whatnot. So at the time... I had my secretary, you know, she was going through messages and my friend, you know, she was going through the messages. And so they saw like she was, she probably had 25 to 30 social media accounts and she was sending me messages from all of them all the time. And so they was like, Tom, you need to contact the police. And I was like, oh, you know. I didn't think it was a big deal. You know, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't think it was a big deal at all to be contacting the police. So I didn't. Didn't hear from her for like a week or so. And I'm thinking maybe it to blew over, you know, da 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 da. So I'm, I go out on a date with old girl. And so we go out to this nice little steakhouse or whatnot in Cleveland. We come out, old girl is walking in and she dressed, you know, to the nines and she just says, hey, Tom, hey, you know, said the girl's name. And the girl's dumb ass was like, hey, I'm like, girl, that's the girl. What did you do? What did you hey? And that's the girl. And she's like, what do you mean? That's the girl, the girl, the girl who found all your information. And she's like, what? So I was like, look, let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. So I get in the car, drive off take old girl home. I go home. I get to my house. Old girl is sitting on the porch at my house with a bottle of wine, drinking it. Soon as I see her, I back out the driveway. I call the police and I'm like, Hey, this is what's happening. You know, da, 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 da. So they send a, you know, patrol car to my house. By then she's gone. And so I get him a breakdown of everything that's happening and everything that's going on. And they're like, yeah, you should have called us a while ago because if she would have escalated or maybe made a false claim or anything like that, you would have been hemmed up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes men allow women to do way too much. And then next thing you know, they're behind bars or something they could have easily prevented. Called the police, you know, had that whole situation or whatnot. And it was like, if she contacts you again, just let us know. If she shows up, you know, at your place of business or work or whatever, just let us know. Maybe later on that night, she started sending more text messages and they was like real sexual, like her taking pictures of her body. And, you know, I want you to, you know, I want you to come inside me. I want you to do this to me. I want you to, I want you so bad. I can give you anything you want. I make all this money a year. You wouldn't have to work. You wouldn't have to do all this stuff. And, you know, you could just concentrate on being you and all this stuff. And I'm just like, uh, so I, I send all the stuff to the detective and he, I guess he calls her and he, I guess she, I don't know if she answered the phone or not. She disappeared for like a month, right? He checks in on me like maybe like 30 days after this. I haven't received anything from her. She hadn't, you know, showed up anywhere or nothing like that. So I had another event that was coming up and I was a little worried. You know what I'm saying? I was a little worried. I thought she was going to show up. So he was like, I'm going to have somebody there just in case. You know what I'm saying? If she show up. So I have the event, big success. You know, a whole bunch of people came out, had a really good time. Once again, if you want to come to any of my events, please just follow me at Tom Swoop Events 
on uh, TikTok, uh, IG, you know what I'm saying? And you'll stay up to date with what I got going on. And once again, if you want to text me, text me at 216 284 3444. Once again, text Hey Tom to 216 284 3444. She doesn't never hear from her for maybe like two months. Then I get an Instacart order lobster, crab legs, steaks, all of this stuff. Now, y'all probably like, oh, I wouldn't have accepted it. No, no, we don't throw away crab legs in this house. So I'm loading all the stuff in and she pulls up like she pulls like in front of the house and she waves and she's crying like really bad. And she waves and she cries and all of a sudden she speeds off. So last I heard of her. It's been two years. And so when that show came out, Baby Reindeer, you know, it, it brought up a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, even right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't consider myself like a sex symbol or anything like that. But there are women who actually think I'm sexy. It's crazy to me. Uh, and they be real aggressive with it. Like, aggressive aggressive and i guess you know that's part that's the trade-off from doing you know social media or everything and i'm so glad that it's grown to this point and i really want to grow it to the the next level and i'm about to start doing more live shows and stuff like that so people can interact with the content people have been supporting the channel by buying merch and buying my digital products so it's like i'm very appreciative but at the same time of it i don't think anybody wants a stock you know what i'm saying and, and the thing is like that cop told me it could have escalated into something else and I'm glad I called when I finally did, um, or this could have been a different ending. So, hey, that's one of my crazy dating experiences. I'll see you in the next one.